Alright guys, Astronox here for another Alliance Heroes of the Spire re-roll. Account re-roll. So this is my... This is gonna be my third account. All the other one, I mean, I just deleted. Best pull I got was Petra. From the second. So I will go through uh, the reroll faster this time. My uh, download speed is not that quick. Yeah. So I just skipped the part where I download the game. If you need the explanation on how to reroll, just check uh, my uh, rerolling video. You might uh, want to, if it doesn't work for you, let's say you're on iOS. Try just deleting the game and reinstalling it. It should uh, should do it. But if you can go in the application and, and information and uh, on iOS and delete the data and the cache, that would do it. If you if that doesn't work, if reinstall the game doesn't work, just uh, just Google for uh, for the solution. All right, it's the same deal. It's always the same heroes, just different elements. Okay, so the auto upgrade thing. Hmm. Quite expensive. Let's see how long it takes to reroll this time. <clears throat> it's really those loading screens, they're long. Maybe not this one, but some loading screen really take a bunch of like a bunch of time. Now here you want to uh, put X3 and then play. If you just press play and then change the speed it will not save. Now you might want to reroll after the the mountain stage, the third uh, the third zone, like I will be doing, or you can just do it earlier, like after the second zone. It's still reset. Even I thought that putting X3 and then pressing play would at least save the speed, but it looks like it doesn't save until you maybe set it up and then you get the option to press next map after you complete the, uh, the mission. Now you do not get that option for a little while because you're still going through the tutorial. Okay, this epic core will it be pretty predetermined pull like I thought it is I think it is we'll soon find out yeah it is it's always uh, always this guy so far so so far like there's no point to reroll you need to, to push further Is that when we get this hero, the four star guy?
Yep, that's it. Full team now. That's the team I'll just uh, use. We have three fire heroes. Hmm. Okay, you see the auto plays on now. The speed is uh, is an X three. So yeah, three fire hero and one nature. That's really balanced. Last one we had the the last guy on the right. He was water. And it seems like he, the water version's better. Well, when I had the fire one, he kept getting destroyed. I do not want to summon. I want you guys to see what I pull with the the epic summon or the 75 gem summon I don't want to uh, have uh, a bunch of other 3 star heroes and I only want to progress with these guys So it's like I said, you could just make a bunch of accounts and use the collect the five day reward and the seven day reward and hope to get five star. You can get five star from this as well. You can use the gem here to pull for five star. And after seven days uh, here yeah, you do not uh, get more. Well, let me keep going here. I don't want to uh, take more time than it is required. I'm just like uh, trying to uh, inform you guys about how to uh, best reroll your account. If you have a good computer, good uh, PC, uh, you should install the Nox emulator for Android and just uh, make an Android installation set up your Google account uh, you can you can install th this game but don't start it and then what you would do is uh, you close the instance then you start cloning it as many times as you want and then and then you start playing how, however many your computer can handle at the same time and uh, and yeah you either just like log in for the rewards which would be the simplest way to go about it to like get like a five star um, order or chaos hero or you could just uh, like do, do the way I'm doing it now just make a script to automate this whole thing just put uh, long delays between uh, each like press it, it will be kind of hard like the more instance you're gonna run the longer the load screens are gonna be and then it might end up that your script is not good enough uh, if you can actually slow down your script by a certain amount you know in knock so it's fine just make a slow script and if the clicks are happening too soon just slow the whole thing down and then what you could do is use the script to play multiple uh, accounts to do what I'm doing now and then after you just uh, if you pull nothing just log off these accounts just log them in one time each day collect the daily uh, rewards just go for 
I should wait for the pull actually. But you know what? I will do it now. Yeah. It's a uh, it's wasting time by doing it now though. So yeah, you do some of the quests. You could just have three account. Uh, five ten and you just run them using a script or even just do it manually I mean, when the windows are open next to each other you can scale the window however big you want them to be if you have more than one screen it's, it's very helpful and you can do this with uh, a lot of these types of games and uh, get yourself uh, at least a 4 star or a nice 5 star and uh, if you're not planning to spend money or even if you are planning to spend money starting with a nice hero r really does help doesn't matter just join any guild to get this the epic uh, hero core that's it, and then you just continue through. We'll summon that uh, epic hero core later. Uh, hopefully, it is not that uh, predefined pull that we've been getting two times in a row now. I might have summoned the hero, like, it might not have been after joining the guild. We'll see. Curious on how long this will take. You can shave off like uh, a minute at least from uh, all the stuff I, I went to check. Now, yes, like I said, the loading screens are the biggest thing. Like it was on autoplay as soon as the NPC started like uh, doing some chat dialogue, the, the, the autoplay turned off. When you press next map and you let it do its thing and you press battle here it auto plays unless there's a NPC dialogue seem like massive but that 51% armor is crazy seems to be similar to summoner's war it's just instead of roots it's items so this game game been out for like a year still going strong so They, they seem to be doing something right. I can't remember exactly how many downloads there were on uh, Google Play Store. Okay, we 
we get him? I don't use it anyway. This thing done. All right, Get back to it. So you could reset after the second zone or the third zone. The fourth zone gives you two two summons, I believe, after you do the fourth zone. But it's kind of tricky, even with if you use those four initial heroes. And you put gear on them. Actually, putting gear on them and upgrading the gear. Mm, it's just that upgrading gear. The gear is terrible. What you really gain out of the items are the set bonuses. Those are the, the big upgrades. So when you upgrade the gear, you're just upgrading the, the normal stats on them. But those are like terrible stats to begin with. It just seems like a massive waste. Well, it's. It's not like you're really wasting because you're most likely going to reroll the account or if you get a five star who really cares like you get the five star doesn't matter like a couple of gold here and there gold is uh doesn't seem like it's gonna be too much of a problem i've seen items selling for like a thousand and 1.5k early on Another summon there. Uh, so if you would reset there, you just have to go through the UI here. You don't have to actually b do the battle. You can get out. Yeah, yeah. We don't need any of all that. Okay, and then we have the collect here. So it could be a good time to reset here do we get the predetermined summon oh we actually pulled lily lily's really good so, um, okay we did not get the the same guy that i've been getting before it could be because we stacked some epic hero cores we did not only have one so if you get the one right after you join a guild, it could always be the same hero unless you just stack some epic hero cores together and then it like kind of like resets the thing. Now I'll just keep on going. What's here in the alliance? This this did not give anything. Like did not complete any quest, gave me no gems, nothing. So let's go world. I want to just do frostbite mountains. So that was really nice, like three pulls like there, like this. I wonder what the odds are for pulling, like it could be one out of uh, 20 for a four star on average and it could be one in 200 for a five star
Also, since I got like, I pulled Lily. Uh, I don't know about how good the other heroes are, but like, let's say you pull a four star there. I mean, you have to. Like, if it's a good four star, especially, you have to keep on going a bit. You know, if you get another four star, or like if you get real lucky and you pull a five star, like, you just seal the deal right there. You you just keep on going with that with that account. But uh, if you get a nice pull, it's uh, it's worth spending the t the extra time to to go further. Now, like I have one li lily pool, we get a lily on the second day login. That's two. Then you can get lily shards from uh, spending uh, the points you earn in the arena. And then you just come summon her when you have uh, the amount of shards that's needed to make her and then you uh, you just feed her other copies of herself and should be able to uh, skill her up and she was like 90% must have in the rating and her skills are just amazing the support healer But Lily is definitely not worth like uh, keeping the account just because I pulled her. Like that's that's not good enough for me. Three stars hero are not gonna be a problem to obtain. Also, you know, a four-star hero, I don't know about four-star hero, like just logging in seven days, you get a guarantee four-star from the legendary summon. But it just makes it so if you stop re-rolling and you have a four-star, especially a nice one, well, you have that plus you're gonna get another four-star, so. you that much longer then. See how these triple fire monsters with one nature fare against this level. I think this level has many water monsters and water counters fire. So. Might have trouble completing the stage without uh, upgrading equipment. I'm, I mean, at least, I mean, just equipping equipment. We'll see. But it doesn't happen often that you just pull fire monsters. They're not really leveling quickly. Since you're rerolling, you could just, if you wanted, pull the double XP buff that you get for free. But then if you pull five star, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Uh, an XP boost is like 50 gems.
getting harder now. No, there's chapters 6 and 7 left. 7's the boss. So I remember being able to pull just before completing the third area. Now completing the third area should give another epic summon, I believe. Because I would have remembered that it's not even worth completing. So three summons for area two and two summon for area 3 all these summons before are already predetermined so it looks like you have 5 chances let's say you do this in 30 minutes I mean, it actually takes longer because you have to install the game I mean, uh, download the game's data. Now the boss, uh, well, we'll see what happens, but uh, you never know. It depends if I lose a guy early. Like I said, I pulled triple fire monsters. It's really not helping me against water monsters. Okay, at least I did not lose anyone. Oh, good. They attacked him. Oh, there's a bomb. But okay, did not go off. Oh, this guy was easy last time. All right. So yeah, epic. Hero core. Just, just don't care about that. Nothing in the quest. Some stuff in the inbox. Okay, we have 80 gems, so we already had a summon. All these are just normal summons. These gems are not gonna make a difference. Now let's go. So we ended up getting. Wait, what? Oh, we did the pull already from uh, two stages ago. <clears throat> Final pull. Huh. <clears throat> Four star. First, first four star I pull. Seventy six percent must have. 
<coughs> Attack an enemy and increase your crit by 15% for the duration of this battle up to a maximum of 45% increase. Attack an enemy and give them armor break and block break for two turn. Cleave hits an additional random enemy. It's pretty good. Attack an enemy and grant yourself a death shield with a two turn duration if you are below 25%. HP reset the cooldown of precise cut. What? Death shield probably just brings you, like, you avoid death, it's just like, gonna give you 1 HP, you avoid death and have 1 HP. All your of your abilities deal bonus damage based on your current HP. The lower your current HP, the more damage you deal. That's really cool. It's a nice hero. Looks like a nice uh, hero to solo. Oh, these could be a pain to get. This is locked, and this is the thing you need. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I could just keep on playing this account. But I won't. Alright, guys, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Uh, I'm Astronox, and uh, see you in the next video for more re-rolling. Peace.